Hi there, welcome to the gym. It's day three of shoulders and I'm going to show you another great tricep. This one is particularly for the front delt, so developing the front of your shoulder to get that nice curve. Brilliant for men who want to create size in their shoulders, brilliant for women who want to have a nice shapely arm, particularly for summer. Um, so uh, let, we'll go through each exercise in turn and then we'll put it all together. Um, as you know, my, my ethos and the three P's ethos is that you don't need to go too heavy to look great. You do need to be technical, get the exercises right. That's what I'm here for, to teach you. And then put the exercises together into combinations because it's that intensity that gives you the shape you want and also cuts your time in the gym because we've all got other things we want to be doing in our lives to be getting on with. So first of all, let's see how we're set up and I'll explain each of the shoulder exercises in turn. As I said, this is a front delt tricep. So let's get on. Okay, right, let's go and have a look at the weights. First of all, I'm going to show you um, an easy bar or a Z bar. Very good for using the front of the shoulders and I'm just going to lift it up now so you can see it, okay? So, this is an easy bar or a Z bar, okay? Now, it's got a basic weight of 10 Ks, so if you are just starting out, you might just use it without weights. But as you can see, I've actually got weights on each end of this. This is very, I've not got heavy weights on this. You don't have to wear heavy weights. This has got, literally, I've got 1.25 on each end. Um, now, the, the brilliant thing about this bar is it's particularly good for things like bicep curls and for lifting uh, weights up your body. It's not bulky the way a big, one of those big macho Olympic bars are. So for, particularly for women, you may find more comfortable starting off with a small bar like this and working your way up to an Olympic bar for other exercises. But for shoulder exercises in particular, I think the easy bar is really good and um, the way you hold the bar, if you can see the shape of it, it's got a sort of indent in the middle. That's where your hands go. So you bring your hands together. You want to have your knuckles facing forward. For this exercise, you're going to bring your hands quite close together. Now, you're going to stand nice and upright, and you're going to lift this bar up towards your collarbone, using your elbows as to elevate. Not, you're not curling, you're lifting. Let me show you. So stomach in, nice and relaxed, feet flat on the floor, stand still, and then you're going to lift like this. Okay, you're just lifting right up to below your chin, as high as you can get it, keep your elbows high, and then just lift straight down. Okay, and again, you're gonna lift. Now you will feel this in the front of your shoulders. Okay, and you might also feel it in your triceps. Now, when you come to the bottom movement, um, if you want an extra boost to your shoulder development, you need to just relax your shoulder um, joints and feel, always feel your, your shoulder joints slightly opening up. So you just let the weight drop a bit, and then you bring the weight up, okay? So you can see, elbows up, wrists up, bring it down. At the bottom, just let it pull a little bit on your shoulders, and then up again, okay? So that is your basic front anterior delt lift with an easy bar. This is the correct way to lift for shoulders with an easy bar, okay? This is the exercise, you can even do this on your own, you don't need to do it as a tricep. It's a really good mass developer. For your shoulders but I like to combine it with two other exercises so let me show the other exercises now okay the first is a, a straightforward dumbbell exercise again not too heavy here are my dumbbells I've used just some light ones to show you now you again you probably have seen people do this in the gym um, this is a very simple exercise dumbbells at your side turn them sideways on don't rest them on your uh, hips let them let hang free and you're just going to lift Bring them up to shoulder height, make sure that your arms are straight, that your palms face down, and lift again. As with all exercises, make sure you can feel this. You should feel this in the front of your shoulders and your upper chest, okay? And again, all right? Now, this exercise is important, again, not to swing. If I turn side on and show you the posture you should be adopting, I'm standing nice and tall, my stomach is in and I'm keeping my back still. I'm gonna lift and I'm gonna come down again. I'm gonna lift and come down again. Now, that's how to do it. You just take the, weights, take the weights off. How not to do it is to do this sort of rocking movement. You see quite a lot of this um, if you're in a gym and that allows you to lift quite heavy, but it's a real sort of in a false economy in terms of your muscle development because you're not actually using your shoulders to lift, you're using either momentum or you're swinging with your hips. This is not a hip exercise. This is an anterior deltoid exercise. So keep your back still 
and lift like that. So we've done so far. We've done a lift using the Z bar, and we've used a, 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 a straightforward anterior delt lift, which is a straight lift like this. The last exercise I do is one that develops a whole shoulder area using extremely light weights. You may think this looks sissy, but actually this, if you do it on the end of a superset, actually really burns. So you take some light weights. I've got some really light weights. These are actually 0.5 of a kilo, but you could go up to maybe 2.5 for a guy. This is all about technique. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand the weights in front of you, palms facing forward, you're gonna lift straight up to shoulder height. You're now gonna take your arms out to the side until you are in a sort of Christ position. Then you're gonna bring the weights down to your side. Don't touch your thighs. That is a rest, you're not resting. Bring them back up and just reverse the movement. Bring them forward and bring them down. Let's do that again. Okay, so that's your tricep. What you're gonna do is you're gonna do, as a learner, 10 to 12 reps of each exercise back to back and that's gonna burn, start light. If you're more advanced, you're gonna go six to eight of each exercise back to back, but you're going heavier. You're looking to work up to four sets of that. That is a really intense shoulder workout. I would do that in the middle of my shoulder, shoulder workout. I would probably start with a shoulder press or use the Smith to develop my shoulders in single exercises, then use this exercise as, a, as the middle of your um, shoulder workout. So it's a, a great way to all get the intensity going. Um, uh, as I said, it's a really good exercise for building mass. Um, people will watch and do be very curious what you're doing and you will look like a pro if you're doing this, okay? The secret of this is to get yourself set up before you start so that you can move quickly from one exercise to the other. So now I'm gonna show you how you put the three exercises together. I'll do three reps of each, just so you can see how we transition and I keep, keep the momentum going, keep the motion going. So are you ready? Let's start, we're gonna start with the uh, Z bar lift. Are you ready? And that's it. That is what the tricep for your shoulders, particularly your anterior deltoids, looks like. I hope you enjoyed watching that. I hope you've been inspired to get to the gym and try some triceps. They really are fun. They're a great way to build your muscles quickly. You can get in and out of the gym fast. You will get size of the exercises. You will look like, look like a pro in the gym. But most of all, you're going to really enjoy this because there's no way you could say this type of exercise is boring. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.